assalamu alaikum students now our topic of discussion is surfaces intersect orthogonal if two surfaces if f and g are two surfaces are two given surfaces we have to prove prove orthogonal we have to prove orthogonal to each other so following steps will be involved the step 1 is that we have to find nebula of f and second step nebula f and nebula g we have to find this after calculating nebula f into nebula g add or subtract two surfaces to get value after that after getting this we have to take dot product of nebula f and nebula g and this will be equal to 0 by putting this value if their dot product of divergence of two surfaces is 0 then we can say that these two surfaces are orthogonal to each other we have to prove that their gradient of two surfaces dot product of gradient of two surfaces is equal to 0 so let's start with question and see how two in surfaces intersect orthogonally statement is given that equation of a ellipsoid is given and hyperboloid is also given as equation 2 we have to show that these two equations of a ellipsoid and hyperboloid intersect orthogonally to each other so by first step we have to find nebula of f and nebula of f is equal to partial f over partial xi plus partial y over partial f over partial yj plus partial f over partial zk now by simplifying we will get nebula of f is equal to x over 6i plus y over 8j plus z over 6 into k now when we are talking about second surface that is j we have to find nebula of g and that will be equal to minus 2xi plus 2 by 3 into y dot g minus 2z into k this is the step one now we move towards step 2 and step 2 first is that we have to add or subtract equation 1 and 2 now we have to add or subtract equation 1 and 2 in such a way equation 2 plus 12 time equation 1 equation 2 is minus y square by 3 minus x square plus z square is equal to 1 this is equation 2 12 time equation 1 12 time equation 1 will become when 12 will multiply with the 
equation 1 we will get Three by four y square plus x square plus z square is equal to twelve. Now by adding this, we will get minus x square plus z square and x square plus z square will cancel each other. And by adding these two, we will get this is y square by 3 plus 3 by 4 y square is equal to 30. So, by adding we will get 7, 4 plus 9, 13 by 12 y square is equal to 30. This implies that y square is equal to 12 so we will get y is equal to plus minus 2 square root of 3 now put this value into equation 1 put in equation 2 or equation 1 if we put it in equation 2 we will get as equation 2 is y square over 3 minus x square minus z square is equal to 1 value of y square is 12 so here is 12 by 3 minus x square plus z square is equal to 1 this gives us minus x square plus z square is equal to 1 minus 4 this implies that x square plus z square is equal to 3 now we have find out two points that is first is in term of y and second is in term of x when we are talking about in term of y our value is plus minus 2 square root of 3 and second point is x square plus z square is equal to 3. So, step 2 is completed. It's first part by adding and subtracting to get values. Now we have to find nebula f into nebula g. When we will apply nebula f into nebula g nebula f is equal to x by 6i plus y by 8j plus z by 6k and nebula g is equal to minus 2xi plus 2 by 3yj minus 2zk in dot product x i component multiply with i component gives us minus 2x square by 6 plus y component will multiply with y component and will give us 2 y square over 24 and z component will multiply with z will give us 2 z square over 6 now take minus 2 by 6 common we will get x square plus z square plus 2 by 24 common and here is y square this is minus 1 by 6, 3. And value of x square plus z square already find is 3. This is 1 by 12. And value of y square is equal to 12. So we will get 
minus 1 plus 1 that is equal to 0. So it is clear that nebula F and nebula G is equal to 0. This implies that surfaces intersect orthogonally. Now, here is a question for, for practice and this question is that we have to show that surfaces with first surfaces z is equal to 16 minus x square minus y square and 63z is equal to x square plus y square intersect orthogonally. To prove that these two surfaces intersect orthogonally, we have to show that the dot product of their gradient values for the finding points is 0 and that's all about today's lecture.